What's up YouTube? Welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Hello. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. We teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food as well as traditional food, well, traditional Chinese food and Malay food at home as well. If you're not new to the channel, you may see that we're in a different kitchen. We have now built a purpose-built kitchen. Don't worry, we'll still be doing recipes in the old kitchen, which is mum's kitchen. This is just one we've got because we wanted to show people how if you are stuck with electricity, Induction is the way forward. We bought the cheapest induction cooker we could just to show you that you don't need to spend loads of money to get a decent quality induction cooker. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we want to do quite a few recipes using this because a lot of using people ask induction. us to. Induction, yeah. yes. So that's why we have a purpose-built kitchen for that now. Anyway, today's video, what are we doing? We're doing air fry. Yeah, what, what are we air frying? Air fry chicken toast. Chicken toast. This is mum's own recipe. Not many places do this. In fact, we weren't aware that anyone did it until someone mentioned it recently. Mum just thought she invented it out of thin air. Is it? Yeah, other places do do it. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. How long um, ago? We did it years ago. I know we did it, it years ago. I don't know. I don't know. Just oh, someone okay. mentioned chicken toast to me the other day. Yeah, so this is just our version. We never sold it. All we did was if we had extra chicken, raw chicken left over from making rolls or whatever, we would... Um, make it into chicken toast and give it away to loyal customers, basically. Yeah. yeah. So we right. never actually sold it. No. So we don't actually know Delicious. quantities. Yeah. <laughs> We're literally winging it for you today, but it, they yeah. always taste good, even even when they're not quite salty enough or whatever. Um, yes. Yeah. And this is partly because we were sent this to review. So we're going to review this on our other channel, but we're going to do the recipe on this channel. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, I was talking to them. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Good you've got it though, because you're here with me, you're doing this. Anyway. Air fry. So, I've never very... used an air fry before. Yeah, we were given this by the way, so yeah, we've sent this to review. It's called bagotti. <laughs> Baguette. Bagotti. I think bagotti. I think it's pronounced it's, bagotti. Is that what is it trying to be Italian or I don't know. It sounds like Interesting it. enough though. Oh no, we'll save this for the review channel. Um yeah, so we'll get on with the chicken toast. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like pacotti, it's like spaghetti. Yeah. Spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. 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 Okay. Yeah, however you want to pronounce it. So we'll get on with the cooking now. Yeah. Right, okay, so for this, I reckon we're going to make about between 8 to 12 slices of chicken and uh, of chicken, of prawn toast. That means that's whole blocks. Chicken toast. Chicken toast, yeah. yeah. What did I say? Prontos. Oh, I meant prawn toast. Oh, I meant chicken toast. We've got two whole breasts of chicken, three to four tablespoons of water, one dessert spoon of potato starch, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of MSG. This is obviously optional. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We need about, like I said, eight to 10 slices of white bread, medium thickness or thick if you want. Either one is fine with you, personal preference. And also three semi-stale bits of bread as well. Obviously, you can use them fresh if you want. It's just better if they're slightly stale, that's all. They're, they're slightly crispy, aren't they? Yeah, yes. Right, so. We're gonna cut these up, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to cut it into cube because we we blend it into two, two lots because that is a small blender. Well, it's a very sharp knife. Yeah. What all new knives for this? Is it? New kitchen. Well, we do one do one breast at a time, yeah. Yeah. Like we said before, we will be doing videos in and out of it, both kitchens, so don't worry about it. It's been a while I have not used this and a while I have not done this chicken toast. So it's a bit, uh, you call it rusty? Is that that way? Yeah. 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 Okay, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. I think that's enough. That's good, look at that. A few blitz. A few blitz. And move it into 
another bowl. This little machine, not that easy to use. No, it's a good job we're not reviewing this and we weren't yeah. giving it to review because it's terrible. You just don't want to buy another one because yeah. spend all that money on one, you just don't want to. We should have returned it and do a. Yeah. It's what, not, what didn't we return? It's not cheap. You just rough cut it, all right? There's no special way to cut chicken. No. Put this one. And goes a second breast? Yeah. yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want it sort of not so fine that it's a, a paste. About like that. Yeah. Okay. So it's a little bit coarse. coarse. Not say so too coarse. You want it a bit of bite. Right, let's get them all out. Oh, gosh. I'll be a bit quite angry to do this review for this. <laughs> no, no, exactly. That's, that's why I said it's a good job we didn't do a review of that KitchenAid. <laughs> End up, you know, swearing, swearing cursing, everything. Right, let's get every bit out. So this next bit, if you've got a big enough blender, you can actually do it in there, but... In one blitz. In one blitz, but, but we don't, so we're going to do it in small parts. In, we're going to put all our seasonings. Yeah. So in goes the salt. Start with the salt, yeah. And then MXG. Yeah. Obviously, as we said before, this is completely optional. It's optional. Won't taste as good, but... For your... Garlic powder and your salt. No, that's peppermint. Oh yeah, your pepper. <laughs> they all look the same, just different colour. Yeah, true. Need a bit of water, okay? You can use an egg for this if you want, but we yeah. use water. I can smell it now. It smells nice, isn't it? Yeah. You want it the consistent, that not too dry. When it's dry, you cannot spread it on your toes. Tiny bit more, and then you go in, go your potato starch. Your potato starch is put in there to make it a bit moist, all right? Once you do this one, now ready to spread, isn't it? Yeah, you need to uh, do your breadcrumbs. Put it to one side, your breadcrumbs. I'll just take the bread out and put them yeah. on the side. Just break them. That's why you call breadcrumbs. That's why, is it? Or you can do it, prepare it beforehand if you like. We always break them up by hand because yeah. they make a better crumb. You do it in the, um, in the, in the blender. Blitz. Yeah, it's get a bit fine. too fine. I like it a bit of uh, when you fry it, when you deep fry it, you feel a little bit of uh, bread on it. Take a little while. Obviously, we're not deep frying them today, but... Air frying. Air frying. So these should be slimming wood friendly. I mean, you can use brown bread instead. Cut back when this is all done. Yeah. Right, so we haven't been here for about 30 minutes breaking this up with our... With our hands. Yeah, it's been long, hasn't it? Right, so next stage, Mum. Just ignore... We, we won't... We've just... Right. It's been too long. We'll, let's just... It's late at night. We need to carry okay. on. Okay, all right. We'll just do... <laughs> we'll just do a couple of slices just to give you the idea of how to do it all. Yeah, but if you have time, you just break it a bit finer. You can put it in a blitzer, but you need a sharp blade as well. Yeah, I think ours is on the way out. Yeah, well, we've only used it four times, so... Great work, KitchenAid. Okay, let's get it going. If you're doing it for yourself, you can be a bit... Generous. Generous, not too stingy, all right? And not too much, when it's too much, it wouldn't take a while to cook through. Spread it around. I, I, if if I we do if we doing diamond shape, I tend not to um, spread it in between where you go and cut it because your knife quite difficult to cut through the the meat, you know. So you tend to just do it like that. Yeah, you good. see. If I do it square, I would. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you yeah. leave a path. Yeah, I like to get the corner. Okay, when you get it spread, you dunk this one into your bread there. Yeah. Okay. Do it like that. Just gently press it. You just stick as as many or as a little as you, it will take. It look quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Could have done with getting the um. A bit finer. A bit finer, but no more. These deep fried are amazing. We've never had them yeah. air fried before, but deep fried they are so good. The best is if you could get it like fine like that. It'd be better. But today it was a, a quick, what do you call it? Not yeah, we literally haven't planned this one. We just no. realised, well, the company kept emailing me and I thought I'd better get something done. So we just threw this together. <laughs> I think we do about two pieces Yeah. to fry it. But the rest of you, you know what to do with it. Yeah, we don't need to show you, do we? No, but if you make all of these from that, you can freeze them. All you do is, do is place them on a on a tray and freeze them as they are. Yeah. And then when they're frozen, bag them up. We just do two slices, yeah? Yeah. And then we will put it in the air fryer and see what's the result. Okay, let's get going. Put in the fryer. Yep, yeah, we'll, we'll go. leave the rest to you to, to do it, okay? I think you can do about 
There's already two slices, you can do about 10 slices yeah. in here. Yeah, yeah, easy. Like we said, put them on the bread and freeze them for later use yeah. if you don't want to use them all in one day. Or, if you like, you can just uh, go like that and fry it and eat it like a nugget. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. so, um, <laughs> so we're gonna... The remain of it, you can... <laughs> we're gonna get on with the air frying. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so these have been in for about eight minutes, so I thought I'd take a look. Yes, yeah, cool. They look pretty done, don't yeah. they? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, they feel cooked. Yeah, they feel yeah, well. White now. Done. Right. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to review these ones for the review channel. No, for the cooking channel. We're going to eat them and go through what they taste like for the people. And then for the people who are continually watching the review, we're going to cook a few more off to see if you can do more than just four at a time. <laughs> Cause, yeah, sure. Because that isn't, that isn't much, is it? No, otherwise the next lot have to wait for another 10 minutes before you can have yours. Yeah, exactly. So for those at home who want to do, repeat this um, on Jang's workshop, it was at 180 and we did it for eight minutes and they came out like that. They look pretty good actually. Yeah. Okay, so I emailed the company saying that I couldn't find this product. They emailed me back saying that we sorry we no longer could do it. So if you want to recreate this recipe at home, uh, I'd say just do it in the oven, to be honest. It won't be as quick, but yeah, it'll probably be just as quick if I'm honest with you. If you do have an air fryer, use the air fryer. Uh, that's the only thing I can say. Really. I think it's probably our fault for waiting six months to do the video. But if any, like I said before, if anyone wants, has a product they want us to review, by all means send it to us. We've got now got the spare time to do more videoing because we've invested in another chef at the restaurant. So we've got one extra day off to do filming and editing. So yeah, exciting times. Right, okay, so we have done the, this uh, corn toast. Chicken toast. So why can I not remember? Yeah, chicken toast. We are actually just using a maypoi sweet chili sauce with it. It looks actually quite nice, but I'll be 100% honest, I really do feel that it's better deep fried. Yeah. Haven't tried it yet, so obviously I could change my mind. I'm gonna have a bite. It look quite dry though. I was expecting to hate this, but it's not bad. It just tastes like a, a, a meaty crouton. Yeah, it's really dry. Mm -mm. If it's not for the chicken, I think this will be crap, honestly. Too dry. You know, sometimes when this thing is too dry, when you bite it, and you bite into the side of your your chick inside there, it's yeah. really painful. It's so dry. Um, Dip it in some sweet chilli. Yeah, because normally when we do reviews, we know what we're doing. A lot of reviews, normally when we're doing um, recipes, we know what we're doing. Mm. We know what we're doing if this was deep fried. And I'm really shocked that the that fryer used no oil. That's why it's dry. Yeah, I know. It's like, um, what did you say earlier, Mum? It's just no oil in it. It's just like having a Go on, gin, just... and, gin and tonic with a tonic without the gin. Yeah, don't get me wrong. If you are on a diet... Yeah, it's good. This is actually way better than I thought it was going to turn out. Oh, yeah. My personal like, I think I would deep fry it. It's just too dry for my liking. What I like about the actual air fryer, though, it's, it's kept a lot of the garlic flavour, mm. hasn't it? The chicken as well. Yeah, the chicken, oh, yeah. which can sometimes get lost when you deep fry it because yeah. of the extreme heat. I think you need some sauce to go with it, like the sweet chili. You just, I think it's just too dry to eat on its own. You probably get, you know, when we were younger, when we got sore throat, our parents used to give us some powder. They asked you to open your, <laughs> yeah, open your mouth and they just put that powder in your mouth. Oh. You go, oh, choke, and no just offense. like that. <laughs> But like, if you want to make it a little bit more moist, lemon juice over the top of that would be really nice as well. Yeah. So there we go. There's our recipe for air fried chicken toast. Yeah, air fried chicken toast. I'm 100% sure this is going to get zero views on our channel. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> zero review? Zero views. Is it's going it? to be one of the least... No one's going to... Only a very small amount of people are going to want to watch. What we could do is a deep fried version for it. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the deep fried yeah. version. Yeah. But then you'll never know. It's just too dry. Can you... Yeah. But it cooked really quick. Yes. Just... But there's no mess or anything. Yeah. That's the one beauty of it, no? But if it deep fry, you need to... The oil get everywhere. But this one is just in the machine. And when it's ready, you just get it out and serve. Yeah. 
Yeah. We are going to go back to, because we only cooked four, didn't we? Yeah. So we're going to cook a few more, like stack them up and see if it'll still cook, aren't we? Yeah, that's what we're, yeah. That's what we're going to do. So if you want to watch our review, actual full length review video of this thing, then head over to Chin and Chew Reviews. Yeah, that's right. But if you like our content, content, please make sure you like, press, comment, comment, and subscribe. Comment and subscribe. Yeah, okay. Cheers, thank Cheers. you. Happy. Happy cooking, happy eating. <laughs>